Oh, g'day. Yeah, look, just a quick note. This is the reason why you don't make a fire on the rocks because they can turn into really sharp fragments just like glass or like needles and they can cut people's feet right open. But here we are in a beautiful uh, landscape here, a subtropical uh, landscape. Absolutely wonderful, pristine, fantastic rainforest. Uh, most of this area of southeast Queensland would, would have been this kind of uh, landscape. Anyway, down here we've got evidence of a fire, right? Close to the water. Seems like a beautiful place to make a fire. Probably very romantic as well. Yeah, we've got the evidence of the fire I've been here within the last few months. But this is a reason here why you do not make a fire on the rocks. Because what you get here is these sharp bits. See, it's all very, very sharp. Yeah? And that fragments off and it makes particularly sharp pieces. See how this whole piece is loose? Oh, I can pull that off there, right? Excuse me, Elvis. I'm trying to just uh, give a little bit of an educational video here. Can you just please be quiet for one second? Oh, sorry, man. Excuse me, Elvis, Elvis, Elvis. Be quiet, quiet. Excuse me one second. Uh, sorry about that. Now that I've got control of Elvis, he's going to assist me in this video. And so you can see here that we got some sharp fragments, right? And some sharp fragments over here. You stay quiet, okay? Just stay quiet for a minute. So you can see all these bits and pieces. They break off and they make something that is very sharp. Elvis! Elvis! Come here! Sit down. Stay there and be quiet. I do beg your pardon about that. Okay, so what we got here is very sharp fragments. Very good for uh, tool use. Elvis, come here. Here. Sit there. Stay and be quiet. I do beg your pardon about that. So. Very exciting to be here. So all these bits and pieces, see, that's all loose, so they'll break off there. We've got all these bits and pieces here, they break. If something like that is sticking out in a manner like that, and someone steps on it, it will go straight through their foot, and it can also break off into all different fragments. See how it just breaks off like that? Very dangerous. Obviously, people are going to be here barefoot. So I'll get rid of that, let's throw it right into where it's rushing. And the, uh, the movement of the water and the smashing up against the rocks is going to smooth that off. I don't really want to be doing stuff like that. But it's safer for it to be in there, moving through there, and being made blunt naturally, rather than sitting here where someone might step on it. See, that particular one there, very dangerous. The other part of uh, this little issue here is these rocks do heat up when you get air bubbles in between them. And we can see evidence here there has been the air bubbles in here. You see like we get these going divots, there's the air bubbles in there. So that can uh, expand and then explode in dry periods and get up there into the bushland. And if that's dry, then you can cause fires and you can burn away your food source and the habitat and your shelter and your materials. Now we'll just have a quick look around here. You can see that there's uh, somewhere right here which is ideal to make a fire. Make a fire here. Still nice and close to the water. Still be quite romantic. But a lot safer for you and for anyone else who might come afterwards. The other thing here is this is a castor oil tree. Very useful uh, plant when it seeds. You can make castor oil from the seeds. Very useful for uh, this bee to have a little rest here as well. But this does not belong here. So I'm going to have to dig this out. Don't have any tools. I'm going to have to use the sole of my shoe. My heel to be exact. So if you see this kind of uh, plant growing in such an environment like this and you're in Australia, do your best to dig it out. But be careful not to get spines into your uh, skin because it does have an alkaloid um, toxin in it which will irritate you. Definitely don't get it in your eyes and don't ingest it. 
You can ingest the castor oil, very good as a laxative. You rub it on the skin, very good for getting rid of moles and uh, blemishes in the skin, such as unwanted birthmarks, etc., like that, uh, moles mainly. And it's a great laxative. You drink a bottle of castor oil, you make sure you're sitting on the toilet. Anyway, just take a moment to soak up the serenity. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Right, cheerio.